Praise the Lord. So honored to be here today. My name is Zenzo Matoga, my wife Michelle, originally from Malawi, but I've been in the USA for 25 years. Uh, my father told me, I'm 79 years old and you need a new spiritual father to guide you. His father is a man of God. A bishop. He's a bishop. So I was... Did you hear what he said? His father, a bishop, told him at age 75... Nine. At age 79, you need another spiritual father now. To guide you. To guide you. So I was watching Facebook and I saw senior pastor Dr. Paul Enenche preaching and I felt the power of God and right there the Lord spoke to me, that's your spiritual father. And I started watching him for two years and then I told my wife, I'm going to Abuja, Nigeria to meet my spiritual father. Now, before I came here, a young man who was a lawyer in our church told me the Lord has spoken to me to introduce you to my father back home. I said, who's his name? He said, Dr. Paul Enenche. I started jumping and I said, that's my spiritual father. And his name is Pastor Marcus, who is now the pastor of Dunamis Houston. And then I flew here last year in August, and everything changed. Number one, I had encountered a racist cop when I was a teenager in America. He told me I'm putting a record on your immigration process so that it's going to make life difficult for you. Every time I'd fly back in the country, they would separate me from my wife and bring me into a room where they search terrorists. When I flew back from Abuja after the senior pastor prayed for me, that immigration report was completely erased and removed. Did you hear that? Celebrate the King of Kings. Did you hear that? Celebrate the Lord. As a citizen, you come and they separate you from your wife. Where they take you to where they put terrorists, search you thoroughly before you go in. Interrogate but you. One visit. Record cleared out of the system. Yes. Oh no, yes. this is incredible. Everything that the devil has put a stigma on your life concerning, today is terminated. Report completely erased after 20 years. Completely erased. After 20 years. Yes, yes. And then when the senior pastor prayed for me, the next day I realized that I did not have appetite for food. So I said, let me fast maybe for one week only eating in the evening lightly that went to a month and it went to two months and then it went through thanksgiving in america and then it went through christmas he fasted through thanksgiving, that's, he fasted through that's, thanksgiving that's a big deal. one of their most celebrated seasons is it, uh, the celebrations for food at no least talking. one household must eat a full turkey and august 15th this year marked one year of fasting since the man of God prayed for me. To Jesus be the glory. And everything has changed. And then we were believing God for a building. We passed our church in Boston. It's very difficult to find buildings. It's very liberal. For five years, we were looking for buildings. We went to New York after Abuja. I took my wife. And then we went uh, to England. And then we went to Canada. Did you hear that? Yeah. We had a program in, in New York, Revival Fire Conference. He went there. Program in, in England this year, April. He followed us there. Canada, he went there. Yes. Houston, we went there as well. But after the man of God prayed, we talked about the building. He said, may the Lord bless you and give you a building. And before we went to England, just a week before we went to England, we signed papers to a $5 million building in Boston, Massachusetts that the Lord has given to us. To Jesus be the praise. Can somebody celebrate the King of Kings? We are going to watch the video in a while. Um, uh, media, you, you, uh, is that, are you, are you can done? we show it now? Are you done? No. $5 million. Yes, and, uh, and by the way, miraculously, uh, the Lord, we went to a meeting where a man that we had prayed for who had passed away spoke to his daughter and left a note in a will saying when that man of God announces his building, my family, our family needs to pay for the whole thing. To Jesus be the glory. Did somebody hear that? Somebody left a will instructing the children that when he's going to build, the family 
from the resources of the man was to pay for the entire building. And to the glory of Jesus, we've experienced growth, miracles, signs, and wonders in our ministry. I saw the first death ear open to the glory of Jesus. The first death ear. Give the Lord a praise. Amen. And, and finally, to, amen. And finally, my father then called me from Malawi. Uh, he built a sanctuary that seats 2,500 people. And he says, Zenzo, I believe that it's now your time because Malawi is 80% under 40. So you need to reach your generation. And he said, I'm giving you the buildings and the lands uh, and the orphanages. Uh, take it over and bring Impact Church into the nation of Malawi. To Jesus be the glory. Did somebody hear all those testimonies? This is how long between when you came in contact. I know you've watched for two years, but how long be between when you came here to the Glory Dome and now? One year, I came last year in August, and in one year, God has done so much. To Jesus be the praise. One year, one year encounter. Let's see the church building, and let's see the crowd and what God is doing right there in Botsa. Bo to be here. Thank you for allowing us to share our testimony. We're taking Boston for Jesus. They don't allow new churches. And they won't even give you the permit. That's what evangelist just said. They don't allow new churches. Yeah. Zoning. They won't zone buildings to be new churches. They deny zoning. They deny zoning. If you don't want your life to change, hey. don't come near here. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! If you don't want your life to change, you don't want ministry to change, you don't want things to shift under one year. He said, When hands were laid on him, he lost appetite. What a man has is he can give. What a man has is what he gives. I haven't tasted solid food today. No. And I'm not hungry. I bear you witness. <laughs> I'm not hungry. <laughs> All right? So, if, can you lay such a hand on somebody? You will kill the hunger. <laughs> and he has not felt like eating till evening for one year. Somebody stand on your feet and let's give the king the praise. Give the king the praise. Five million dollar worth of property, just like that, under one year. Twenty years of immigration harassment. Oh my God! 
cleared out of the system just like that. I need us to celebrate one minute. Fresh grace. Jesus. Fresh grace. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh, fire. Fresh oil. Go forth, break forth. In the name of Jesus. Say!